good morning. Um, I just want to do a quick video before all my kiddos wake up um, and just share with you for a second. I already have two little girls sitting over there staring at me, so I really just want to make this quick. Hey, so I want to just, I guess, do a rally cry, gather my friends, um, encourage today to say that no matter what, what is going on out there in the world, that no, no matter what executive orders come down, no matter how many people we know that get this virus, get sick from it, die from it, no matter how much we don't want to believe it's happening and we believe it's a conspiracy and we're frustrated by that, whatever it is, wherever you're coming from um, on kind of what's going on in the world in 2020, I just want to talk and, and say that we live by a different set of rules as children of God. As Christians, we have the power and we have the authority to not join the negative of the world and to not um, be, not to live angry or frustrated or mad kind of in everything that's going on, that we as children of Jesus Christ can have a peace that passes all understanding. It doesn't make any sense. Um, you know, as our own family has battled with things over the last few years, um, we have had people ask us, each of us, you know, ask the children, ask each of us individually, how do you stay peaceful? How do you stay joyful? How do you, you know, and, and hey, we are all human. We are all going to have a bad day. We are all going to cry. We are all going to be upset. However, we have the power through Jesus to not let those mindsets become our normal. Because if we are faulting first to negativity, if our first reaction is, I am extremely angry and upset and tight and frustrated, we need to check that. All of us, every single one of us. I am absolutely, I am not coming from a foundation of judgment. I am coming from a foundation of experience that there is no good ever that is going to come out of negative thoughts, negative talk, angry talk, frustrated talk, frustrated thoughts. We have to get those thoughts captive. And I think that if we're struggling right now, Philippians is a great place to start with some good word from the Lord. Um, rejoice in the Lord always. And again, I say rejoice. Chapter 4, verse 4. Let your moderation be known unto all men. The Lord is at hand. Number six, be careful for nothing but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving. Let your requests be known unto God. Be careful for nothing but pray in everything. We don't have to join the fray that are angry in 2020. We should have an anthem of thanksgiving. We know in the word we are promised pestilence. We are promised persecution. We are promised hard times because we live in a broken world. But we have the answer. So I want to challenge us today to, to rejoice. You know, Philippians 4, 5, finally, brethren, whatsoever things are true, whatsoever things are honest, whatsoever things are just, whatsoever things are pure, whatsoever things are lovely, whatsoever things are of good report, if there be any virtue, and if there be any praise, think on these things. So we can change some habits and mindsets. If you realize, oh, I'm thinking a negative thought, we can change that and turn that into praise and turn that into to worship. The, also, the other thing is we all have something every single day to be thankful for. And if we speak that out and we're speaking thankfulness, there, there's really not room. If we're, if we're having eyes to see and we want to see the good that is in front of us, there's really not room for the bad. When we start looking in and we, and we continue to think on just the negative things, we're going to stay in that pattern. So we have the answer. We have an opportunity as Christians right now to bring comfort to people around us, to be the difference that people need, and to be the voice that people need to comfort and love 
and just be the hands and feet of Jesus right now. 2020 is not over. It is not a wasted year. This can be a year of great growth. This could be a year to show character. This can be a year to reunite and, and we still have time um, to, to heal from the pains of, of everything that's happened this year. And in the scheme of eternity, because as children of God, we are eternal beings. We, we think of, we don't think of the finite. We think of the fact that we have eternity. This year is such a small time in the scheme of things, but we can bring comfort to those around us. So I want to challenge you today to choose joy, to choose thankfulness, to find something to be thankful for and focus on that if that's what you have to change some patterns. If you realize you're kind of in a a position of being negative. And the other thing I want to tell you that you can disagree with each other and it can still bring God glory. And I'm going to share a quick story. And then I'm going to go, I ran into a dear, dear friend yesterday in the store. I went to Goodwill for, I think the second time this year, um, I needed some sweaters and I needed some Christmas presents. And so my hubby kept the kids and I went and I spent some time in Goodwill, ended up running into a dear, dear, dear friend that we have been missing each other. So of course we, you know, social distance cried and all of that. Um, but we very much disagreed on our viewpoint on uh, almost everything about masks and this virus and all of that. But you know what the thing is, is it was a positive, loving, good interaction. It can be that. So just because we have Christ does not mean we're going to always agree, but we have a different set of rules that we disagree by. And so I guess my challenge today is, is we have this beautiful opportunity as the church to be the church. We have the beautiful, this beautiful opportunity where the idea of a church building is not, you know, the idols that we all build out of being that church building. We can't help it. We love it. We need that. We want that. Um, that we can still encourage one another, love one another, and be the hands and feet of Jesus even from home. Maybe I'll do a little bit video on that a little bit later. But I just pray that today you can focus on what we all have to be thankful for, that we can stand on our firm foundation of Jesus Christ, that no matter what we believe about any of this, Jesus is still our what keeps us equal and we all have that that we can stand on we are all broken in need of christ and i just hope today that i can encourage you to um, think on things that are pure think on things that are holy and think on things that are a good report and that that just to be encouraged um thank you have a blessed day